Link 2012. We got this thing right here that we jumped over, but normally that would be pretty deadly. Now this is one of the coolest items, and I left this open just so that way you could get to it very easily. Let's go ahead and put a few of our things in here. Oh, we actually don't need a lot of this. A lot of this is just junk I picked up. <laughs> but anyways, this contains a bunch of these, some diamond boots, which we can repair, and angelic feet. These ones have 20% speed. We currently have... I don't know how much speed we actually currently have. Let's go ahead and check to see if these are more. These are speedier! Okay, so forget using Elvis slippers for now. I don't know if you can enchant these is the thing. But here's the cool thing about the angelic feet. Alright? <laughs> you can't fall with them! You literally cannot fall with them. They will put water right below you. And not to mention, since we have mermaid tears, that will also give us some uh, some regen. All right, now that that entire area is defeated, we can go and loot it. Now, I do want to enchant these. Because if I can enchant these, well, obviously these have more speed than my Elvis slippers to begin with. So, that's really nice. Because you look at the, these make the screen go more out. But yeah, isn't that cool? Like, I could just jump down. I rarely take fall damage. It's really, really difficult to take fall damage to the angelic feet. These were a pain to make. But I did. And they're great. Okay. Definitely using these. Put depth strider on these and we're good. We do have the Elvis slippers. Okay, let's go ahead and take the backpack with us. This is going to be one of the few occasions that I do take the backpack with us. Simply because we're going to be... Oh, we can only do two at once. We're going to have so... We're going to be getting so much stuff here. We're going to put anything we can in here. All right, and then we're going to throw out all the junk we have, which is a whole lot. Okay. Beautiful. Obviously, we're not going to need a lot of it. We're probably going to leave most of it behind. Then we'll enchant these babies and get onto the crypt. Let's take some saturation potions because we're going to be exploring. We're going to be going back through this whole thing. As you can see, part of the gate burned down. All right, we didn't get this one. Oh, unfortunately, some of these... Uh, Grant things that are temporary. So you remember the one that granted regeneration? We're not going to be able to utilize any of those. Now, we let, let us get all the XP bottles from here. I like this method. Although, I don't think we're going to use this method in the crypt. I think we're just going to grab stuff as we go along. Because I don't think the crypt is too long. Uh, okay, so we got a random offensive enchanting book, and it gave everyone a tasty golden apple. Nice. And we got lots of meat. What was the offensive enchanting book that we got? I didn't get it. I didn't get my enchanting book. I think it's broken. This area is like the most broken area. The reason that that's probably broken is that originally I had it programmed to where it was a oh sweet and we got a spawner buster originally I had it to where a dispenser would spit out a random command block but they changed it to where dispensers could no longer spit out command blocks so that may be pretty sad because that was a really cool feature. I really like that. Yeah, you see we're not getting an enchant any enchanting books. Yes, we got lots of saturation now. So we really didn't need that thing from earlier. Okay, fire protection, efficiency. I'll take the efficiency and I'm breaking. 
Okay, efficiency, unbreaking, flame war can go in there. Have a lot of ender pearls, so that's okay. Let's go. It's always so eerie once you defeat an area and you come back through it, because there's just nothing. Provided you uh, take down all the spawners, of course. I think, I'm pretty sure I got the one up here. We're going to double check all these chests, just in case. Not all, well, not all of them. You saw I missed a few back there. Probably because we already got them. Great haste. Let's just grab Philosopher's Potions. Oh, sweet. We got four diamonds. Everyone got four diamonds. Okay, so that's the cool thing, is that you can balance it. To where it's a bit better for players working as a group. Oh, yes! Blast protection! I love blast protection. It's pretty rare. Yeah. <laughs> you see? These boots are coming in handy. Okay, we can't get them. We can't get up. Do this. There we go. Now we're up. Three experience levels. Nice. Did we get the berserk potions down here and everything else? I think we did. Yeah, we got everything. So I could jump down for fun, but I'm not gonna. We'll jump off the mansion as a whole later on. Okay, we don't need that. Go around this way. Wonderful. Wonderful. I'll take the blocks. We need blocks. It does make you fall a bit slower, too, which is nice. So if you're trying to jump across a gap like that, it slightly helps. The angelic boots. These are one of my favorite items in the game. Okay, smite. Ah, oh, let's go ahead and take it. Even though I really don't need it. And let's replace this with this. Alright, if these guys smite my thing, it's the end of the world. But so far, so good. Okay, we got a lot of Philosopher's Potions. We got an extra Mermaid Tears, too, so let's go ahead and grab that. And hey, it looks like we are full on our Ender Chest. So. Ouch. Nope. Nope. Yeah, we do not want our chest to be destroyed. It looks like there's still a few spawners in here. Based off the fact that we are having trouble with some of these mages. Alright, lots of antidotes. Okay, so we have some... I'm going to grab a few of these, but not too many. Because obviously we'll want to be able to take a lot of stuff home. Potatoes, packed ice, eh, none too important. Salmon might be nice. Okay, we already got everything up there. Let's get in here. Oh yeah, do you see it? Right under there. There's a spawner. Alright, we got a random offensive enchanting book, except we technically didn't. Right, none of those are good. They're all level 3s. We need level 4s. Alright, wonderful. A lot of redstone here. Sort of spooky. I'm trying to remember the bed where the secret's at. Is it this one? Nope. Infinity. I will take infinity, actually. Because infinity is pretty rare. And pretty valuable. Respiration, we already have plenty of that. 
Perfect. Oh, we never... Oh, we never finished this room. Oh, that was close. Oh, we never finished this room either. A little bit more in there. I think that's the one we're interested in. The diamond one didn't seem to work either. Because there was one that gave players diamonds. We didn't get our diamonds. <gasps> yes, stamina. And I'm breaking. I have to leave the diamond helmet for now. Yeah, I shouldn't walk by there. Right now. Okay. So let's get out our backpack and see if we can put anything else away. Okay. Or throw anything out. Yeah, okay. So we can put this away, this away. Um, actually, let's switch this out. I'm glad that was a normal zombie. This can go... I think we already have an indecisive mage. Oh, wait, maybe that... No, that is the indecisive mage that we already have. I'm just, I just keep forgetting to put these guys' heads away. All right, I think we're good. Or that's the extent of what we can do. Oh, yeah, look at all that light. YouTuber potion? It gives you night vision for 20 minutes. Oh, yeah! So, another thing... A lot of YouTubers, they like using night vision in these maps because it's difficult for normal players to see everything. So I decided, hey, YouTubers, here's a bunch of potions that you can use. I'll give you night vision. Got a defensive enchanting book, except I didn't. Seems like only half of these work. <laughs> Crazy developer. Right, did we get the one over here? Thought we did. Let's check. Nope, not completely. Oh, we don't need it really. Let's get not back for now. We can replace it later on. We got that chest, right? Yeah, we did. Don't need feather fall. Oh yeah, this is the fun room with the stuff that falls from the ceiling. Okay, uh... Oh, so we got a bunch of effects for one minute. Strength, regeneration, and haste. So that's not too helpful if you already had... Uh... Those effects, or some of those effects. Ooh, fortune and looting! Those are some really good ones. Okay, we're going to go ahead and take diamonds out and put this in. A little flame war. What don't we need? I mean, I guess we technically have enough space right now, but as soon as we go check a few of these other rooms, we're not going to have enough space again. Yeah, especially this one. Right, nothing in the bed, but up here there is something. Oh, we already got it. We already got that too. Okay. Looks like we need to go put some stuff away. As much as I don't want to. Alright, let's go put some stuff away. Yeah, I love this, dude. This is great. I'm going to use this. This is going to be very helpful in Glitched because there's some high places in Glitched. And being able to fall down without a problem is nice. It's like infinite feather falling. You don't take any damage. And you get to hover. Right. Let's go ahead go put this all away. Then I guess we can... Oh yeah, we have this now. 
Oh, we didn't need the wand. Okay, that's not the floor, though. Perfect. I'm wondering about choice, so when I get on here... Yeah, it still makes water. That's pretty funny. So I'll put this away. But we're going to come back, get the rest of the items, and finish up the area. Oh yeah, we don't even need those slime blocks. Eh. Okay. Oh, we have extra mermaid tears. Let's put those in there. Oh, so many items to organize, though. I don't want to. Alright, special items. Head. Okay. We should really put away all the potions for now. And then grab some more when we come back. Alright, so. Special. We need more space for potions. Just put them all in here. Okay. Armor. Let's go right here. Books. Looting, unbreaking. Oh, yes. I'm so glad we got looting. Looting's really rare. Infinity is pretty tricky to come by, too. Unbreaking, we have a lot of it now, which is nice. Even though it's still quite a phenomenal uh, book. And we are not going to run out of diamonds at all now. Ender pearls. We really don't need ender pearls now either. Thanks to the fact that we have uh, these boots. I'll just keep two of them on me. Oh, and our bow is taking some hits. That's a bummer. Well, let's get armor and weapons and all that sort of stuff. Okay. Oh, Elvis's slippers. Yeah. Oh, we have even another mermaid tears. Wow, we have a lot of mermaid tears. A lot of them. Oh, I guess we got multiple in that uh, that one thing. XP. Yes. We're finally getting our all that XP back that we we've been wait we, we used on the, the items. Spawner Buster. I'm pretty sure you can repair spawner busters. And that makes them very powerful. Nope, I did make it so that way you couldn't repair them. But they do have a lot of uses. So that's their advantage over everything. This I'm keeping. Right, Repulsor, this is a special item. That I might consider using. Because it is really nice. And we could enchant it. We probably should enchant it. Here. Elvis' slippers. It's extremely valuable. It's almost a special item. Right, so charms. Where are our charms? Let's go ahead and put these in here. And this in here. It's crazy because those things are worth uh, a whole lot of XP. It's funny seeing me give it to players just like that. It is more for them to understand, hey, this actually is pretty valuable to keep on me. Because players are going to be like, I need to keep everything. So I'm going to go ahead and put this on. To take this. And then uh, when they have it in their inventory, they realize, oh, some of these effects are very valuable. Right, go ahead and put indecisive mage on there. Okay, so I did want to show you guys 
I'm pretty sure this has all the enchants in the game. So. Yeah, look at that. You get Efficiency 5, Unbreaking 3, Fortune 3. Of course, it's going to be different depending on what you put in here. If you use a sword, it's going to give you sword and chance. But these books are super duper. I'm going to put them in the unbreaking chest. Ooh, I do have a silk touch. That's pretty cool. Unbreaking three, infinity one, unbreaking three, fortune three, efficiency, fortune, projectile protection. We don't even have space in here anymore. So if we have anything that's three or one, oh yeah, look at that protection one. Let's throw out all of our ones and, oh, we can keep twos few of the twos. Oh, it looks like we have mostly twos and threes and whatnot. That's good. Potions! Okay. Wonderful. Special item wise, we got some more goo. Got another blast protection. This was four. An efficiency four for my pickaxes. With some cooked fish. Um, nom nom nom. I can't remember what chest I was putting everything in. I'm lazy now. You know that point where you just like, ah, who cares about where everything goes in the chest? I'm at that point. And the flame war, we really don't need another one of these, but okay. And backpack goes right back in here. What else? All right, so we're going to do some enchanting. I do want to enchant the repulsor. I might even use the repulsor here. It'll take away 5% speed and some attack damage, but it will give us an epic ability and some more armor. Okay, what else do, should we potentially enchant? I guess pickaxes if we get slow touch again. And that's about it. Besides books. What do we want on this? So we have blast protection. We have... Okay, we don't have anything on the boots yet. Let's go see if we can enchant these things. Let's, let's hope we can. And we did have, was it, was it fire protection or projectile protection? I'm going to go with projectile protection. Oops. Okay, we can. Nice. All right, so we're going to get projectile protection and uh, what is it? A uh, depth strider. Wait, is it still going to work? I think it will. I think this will still work, even when I use the anvil on it. Because it doesn't say... Uh, refrain from... Okay. Yep, it still works. Perfect. All right, so we have some really nice boots now. These ones got depth strider, projectile protection, and our helmet, we want fire protection. Oh, I just used, a, I just wasted a bunch of levels. Oops. Is this unbreakable? No, it is breakable. I think we get more of these later on, though, which is nice. Lure this, look at the sea. Ugh. Uh, let's... Let's just do a junk enchant. Unbreaking three, no. I want fire protection. Protection three, okay. Let's go for protection three. 
No, I want fire! Power three. I'm breaking three. It's not bad. Looting two, okay. Protection three, no. I'm breaking, no. Fire aspect, yes. Ah, why do you just keep getting protection? I don't want protection. We could put enchanting books on it, of course. Breaking three, breaking three. We do want him breaking three on this. The issue is I don't want to risk getting the wrong sort of protection on it. I want to ensure that I get the type of protection I'm looking for. Okay, still on breaking three. Silk Touch, there we go. Perfect pickaxe. My helmet, though, was not enchanted. So we're going to have to go through manually. Let's go ahead and get fire protection. Fire protection four, perfect. I'm going to go ahead and put some of this stuff in here. Protection three. I'm breaking three. Uh, I'm breaking three. Shortness one can go. Lure of the sea. Power three. We really don't need it, but okay. And looting two, we will take. And fire aspect two, we will also take. So we're gonna get fire protection on this. We could, we should probably get respiration and aqua infinity as well. Even though, actually, we are gonna need that in this next area. We do have aqua infinity. Oh, it says do not use on an anvil. I forgot about that. Actually, you know what? We can just keep enchanting level 1 books until we get fire aspect on it. I mean, fire protection on it. Because I really want this. And we have plenty of XP bottles, so we might as well. Breaking. Fire protection three. I want four. Yes! Okay. So now we just need to get enough XP. Nuts. We need a little bit more. Fire protection four. Aqua infinity one, respiration three. Perfect. Now the hope is that this thing won't break easily, which I bet it will. So, oh well. We've got a new set of items. This is exciting. A beacon of hope. This is a special item. We're going to put that back in here. Books back in here. Sadly. Armor-wise, these books have to be put back. Oops, now I'm breaking three. Inspiration, Aqua Infinity, and Fire Protection. Breaking three goes in here. And these books get tossed. Lapis goes in here. Let's grab some stamina potions, if we have any. We keep getting golden apples. It's funny. And what else do we need? We need the potions. That's it. Stamina. Strength. Okay, that should be good. I'm going to take a Philosopher's Potion just to start us out. We're ready, guys. Let's go. Down to the final part of this area, which is really cool. I have some really cool portions in this last bit, which you will see. I just realized on the final 
boss. Oh, it's a little bit of spoilers. There, there's, there might be an unintended exploit with these boots. Because it can place water. So you could theoretically put out the lava with them. Theoretically. We'll have to actually see in the end. It's assuming we don't lose these boots, which is very possible. Right, let's begin. Break the door without an item equipped to pass through it. Yeah, we already know. Okay. Okay, very good. Alright, let's do it. It's exciting. Already have something back here. Boom. Ender chest. So that makes our life really easy. Very generous with the under chest here. Hey, we have Frankenstein's monster. That's misnamed Frankenstein for some reason. For some reason. <laughs> yeah, because in the actual book, when people think of Frankenstein, they're actually thinking of Frankenstein's monster. The guy that made him is called Frankenstein. And these guys are called Frankenstein. Purposefully. Um, okay, I thought they didn't do a sound when you hit them, but they did. They did it. They they sound like a player being hit when you hit them. Which has which is on purpose. Hopefully we can get the special drop from them. Let's just light this up. That way, in case we don't get the special drop, we can keep killing them. Now this is really cool. Oh, snap! Rebel spawner. Ah! Yes! Oh, holy smokes! He actually shot at me! That's pretty funny. But that opens up this passageway. Whoop! Which leads down. I'm pretty sure there's another way down, too. But I forgot forget where it is. I think we have to mine through this way. But I think I patched it up. Unless I'm thinking of something else. Oh yeah, never mind. I'm thinking of something else. It's farther down. Rebels. This is a really fun part of the map where uh, you had to defeat a bunch of mobs before moving on. I'm talking about the original... Uh, the original... Mansion. It never worked properly, though. I know it had issues unintended issues and we when we remade the map we actually made it so that it worked completely properly. It's pretty cool. Hey we got three experience levels and some cheesy potions. Go ahead and drink one of these. Why not? Hey guys Oh the repulsor works. That's nice. And it doesn't repair itself so that's fine. Wait, don't I have strength? Oh, I can no longer one-hit kill mobs. Wait, do I have the right sword on even? Yeah, I do. Okay, so it must be because, yeah, that extra two attack damage makes a big difference. Frankenstein's head. Nice. Oh, no. Oh, I gave these creepers extra health. That's what I, why I'm confused. Yeah, because they should take two hits, but these guys took three hits. Yeah, so these are special creepers that I put up here. Make it more challenging for the player. Yeah, this is the frame of eternity for a lifetime of dedication. Did I get the chest in here? No, I didn't. Okay, so... I'm glad I checked. <laughs> Alright. More sulfur tips. It's going to be nice for us. A stamina potion. Ooh, yes! I love the enhanced speed potions. Uh, the extended ones, that is. 
Oh, this is gonna make us drop, isn't it? Yep. 